Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tech Zulu Live from Source 13 here in San Francisco. I'm your host, Amanda Kulong, and I'm now sitting with Christine Lee of Chart Boost. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I am great. So, here, a lot of people are talking about various elements of the mobile um, app economy, if you will, and some of that happens to be within gaming. And there's a lot of discussion around how do independent developers, how do developers in general with games stand out? I mean, there's so many out there. Apps in general, there's a glut of apps. But how, how, can, you, um, how can you stand out and how can you actually succeed? And um, I've been told that Chart Boost has a really interesting way of doing that that's sort of based on an affiliate model, is that right? Um, yeah, I could. No, 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 you don't get to steal my microphone. <laughs> I won't hold the microphone. Um, but yeah, I mean, just to give a little background on Chart Boost and where we come from, and then yeah. I could talk a little bit more about the marketplace. Um, so Chart Boost now has been around for about a year and a half now. Our founders actually came from Tapulous, so they were game developers themselves. Um, really, what was important for them was to figure out how to kind of cross promote within their own users, and then also to work with other developers to really kind of find a solution. Um, so, so since then, now we are all games. Um, we are about 12,000 apps on the platform which is very exciting um, and something that we have that's pretty unique about the platform is the direct deals marketplace and this is definitely a haven for indie games it gives them an opportunity to go into the marketplace work directly with other game developers and establish a relationship on their own terms so they could do a buy or a sell or an exchange based on how they would like their relationship set up and we actually don't take a cut of that um, so that is an affordable way of really taking advantage of the marketplace place and driving discoverability and monetization as well. So you've got an <clears throat> excuse me an SDK mm -hmm. and independent developers can go in and they can identify other developers that would potentially want to cross promote with them. Precisely. So with one SDK, they could take advantage of a few different things as well. Um, they could take advantage of internal cross-promotion within their own portfolio of apps, and then also to take advantage of the marketplace where they're working directly with other developers, and then the network as well, so they can monetize on the platform and also drive user acquisition and marketing. And what kind of results have the existing app seen so far? We have great results, and I would say that's one of the reasons why our company is actually growing so quickly. We actually just announced um, our Series B funding last week with Sequoia. We Congratulations, how much? $15 million, so we're very, very excited about that. Um, but that's due to the success of the platform. Um, fortunately, with the good success that we have on the platform, most of our developers like to help evangelize the solution to their friends. Um, so they're constantly you know, putting it out in the tweets, putting it out in the blogs, Fear of hey we're getting you know five to ten dollar ECPMs on chart booths we're making two hundred thousand dollars you know whatever it might be they're putting that out um, other developers are learning about it uh, and therefore it's become really this kind of viral environment where we're bringing in great developers and, and great partners yeah. so exposure monetization I mean mm -hmm. all these great things for these developers mm -hmm. so now that you've got this funding from Sequoia what is next. It's a great question. Um, we're still kind of in the weeds right now, yeah. building out the next couple of big things. We're definitely focusing on growing what we already have today um, because our solution is so great. And, and really, we do have great penetration in the marketplace, but we could do even more. So a lot of what we're doing is building the team, uh, both on the business and the engineering side, to make sure that we can help support and kind of grow what we already have, and then down the line to also work on new products as well. Is there a target number in mind in terms of how many developers you want on the platform this year? As many as possible. <laughs> the goal is to get every single game developer on the platform because they know that we're one of the best solutions <laughs> out there. So there is no goal, it's everyone. <laughs> I love it. And are you playing any of the games that are existing within Chart Booster? I laugh because my phone might actually explode. I think I have too many games on my phone. Um, some of my favorites right now are probably King.com, Candy Crush, um, Big Fish Games, uh, Fairway Solitaire is a good one. Uh, Heyday is always one of the top, I think. If anybody else actually wants to be friends with me on Heyday, my farm, actually my marketplace is open right now and I have a lot of things on sale, so please buy my items. Um, and yeah, lots and lots of games and, and we love our partners and we love playing their games. So apparently the Chart Boost team lives and breathes their actual business, which is a very good <laughs> sign. It's, yep, yep, we, we do. I mean, you could check out our blog as well. We, we put out a blog called uh, What We're Playing, um, so you could actually see what everyone on our team is playing our That's engineers, awesome. our interns, us, um, and, and you could check out the games. <laughs> and um, what does Chart Boost need right now? Are you looking for some people? You know, what, what can we help you with here? 
Um, basically, I would say for kind of outbound, letting game developers know about who we are, what the solution is. Uh, we have a few case studies out there to you know spread the word on those, um, and really kind of just get everyone educated on who Chart Boost is and how we can help them. Um, more as a, a team perspective, we're also growing. So if you're looking for jobs, um, we definitely have a, a job website updated with a lot of new roles. Um, right now, primarily based in San Francisco, but we are expanding. Um, but yeah, I would say check that out. Well, thank you so much. Any parting thoughts on this very first Source 13 conference? I think it's actually great. I mean, if you could see from the background, it's been very well done. The content is great. The speakers are amazing. I think that this is actually pretty impressive, and, and I'd love to see kind of how this continues on uh, years down as well. So you definitely recommend people come to Source 14, Source 15, Source... Source 20, yes. Oh, great. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time, and hopefully we will see and hear from you again. Sounds great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Everybody make sure that you check out Chartboost.